Hi, and welcome to the first Decred News Update of 2023. We have a lot to go over, including a number of new proposals on Politea, Decred's proposal platform, to perform the work being done within the Decred DAO, as well as numerous development updates and community-produced content. The first thing I wanted to discuss is stable coins on the Decred DEX. Developers have made significant progress towards adding ERC-20 Ethereum tokens on the DEX. With client and server support for atomic swaps having been added and tested for testnet USDC, swaps have also been completed on mainnet with newly deployed contracts. DEX developer Jonathan Chapelo reports that it's all ready. This will open a new chapter in the DEX's evolution, finally allowing for the trade between popular stablecoins like USDC and Decred or Bitcoin. All done in a permissionless, truly decentralized manner, with no KYC, no intermediary tokens, and with no fees except to the ones paid to miners who are processing the transactions. Now on to other development news. On DCR Wallet, added the ability to capture CPU performance data and save it to a file. Added fetching of new treasury spends in SPV mode, this will be used by Decrediton to enable T-spend voting in more scenarios. Modified ticket purchasing logic to support treasure staking and upcoming changes to Decrediton. Decred's GUI wallet Decrediton will soon display pending treasury spends and the ability to vote for them in the treasury spending tab. On VSPD, Decred stake pool service removed a duplicate fee address check that did not scale well. Other improvements to the Decred DEX include adding a core API option to skip time consuming operations on startup and shutdown. No auto wallet lock disables wallet locking on shutdown, which is useful for avoiding a potentially very long unlock operation. The third batch of Fidelity Bonds implementation was merged, building on the lower level API and server code added in October and November. For a quick recap, time locked Fidelity Bonds will replace the current registration fee system. Users will lock coins in bonds and gain permissions to trade as long as their bond tier is high enough. When trading access is no longer needed, the bond can be redeemed to get the coins back. The bond system is a prerequisite for building a server mesh. Refactored fee estimations for Bitcoin like assets and added external fee estimators for Doge. Added more detailed progress reporting during login to improve user experience. Added an Arabic translation and the required tweaks for showing right to left text. Fixed fiat value on the send form not including the transaction fee. Fixed handling of the precise funds option. This option creates an extra split transaction to prepare an exact amount of funds needed for the order, which avoids locking more funds than needed at the cost of additional fees to pay for the split. On DCR data, the treasury voting rules in progress became easier to understand and follow. Treasury spend transaction pages will show how current votes compare to minimum quorum and yes percentage requirements. Approximate calendar dates of start and end of voting, which Politea key signed the T-spend, and more. Fixed a rare bug where disapproved transactions that were later included in an approved block had their outputs incorrectly shown as unspent. Bison Relay is a true peer-to-peer -peer platform powered by Decred's Lightning Network. It represents a new chapter in social media, one where users aren't tracked, privacy is respected, and censorship is impossible. Updates to Bison Relay include fixed multiple issues with notifications, layout, and number formatting, fixed user getting stuck after an unfinished seed setup, and added a choice to delete an unfinished wallet, fixed unreadable font color and server fingerprints, fixed hitting a gap limit when opening Lightning Network channels, added a seed restore page, added a button to copy seed to clipboard, and added support for saving and restoring static channel backup files as funds locked in Lightning Network channels cannot be recovered from wallet seed alone, and show directions on the empty chats page to add funds, create channels, and connect with other users using invites. Now let's go over some network statistics. Ticket prices exploded to an all-time high of 496 Decred after a big drop down to only 140 Decred per ticket, prompting stakeholders to jump in and buy some cheap tickets while they could. Prices have since stabilized at 210 Decred per ticket. It's unknown why the ticket prices suddenly fluctuated as they did. Community members mainly guessed it was a large investor or investment group briefly pausing their staking. Regardless, it's always exciting to see the ticket prices change so radically and see stakeholders plan accordingly how they will stake their funds. 
Total stake supply is a bit over 9 million DCR, representing 62.46 percentage of the circulating supply. The hash rate is stable at 76 peta hashes. The self-funded treasury contains 840,000 decred, worth almost 20 million US dollars. 60% of the circulating supply is mixed via decred stake shuffle mixing service. Now let's look at community updates. That technology is powerful, but something that I think is really super important for any blockchain technology when it comes to privacy is, is asking the question 10, 20, 30 years from now, do, can we prune the blockchain? If we can't prune the blockchain, we need, we need to keep every transaction ever, you know, indefinitely and that isn't a very uh you know isn't a very sustainable way to uh address anything on the blockchain so what we did is we made it so that um we found what we considered the best option to give privacy that was prunable so we didn't add uh ring signatures and we didn't use a broader uh zero knowledge proof system sort of like Z uh zcash has done and and what we ended up doing is is that there's a there's an a proactive mixing process that occurs every you know 10 or 15 minutes and then when you opt in you can opt in and then there's de there there's denominations and then the denominations are all mixed together and we call this stake shuffle because we've actually integrated it with our staking system so uh, there's a huge amount of uh coins flowing through it we have roughly like 60 percent of our circulating supply is mixed for typical bison relay users these fees are trivial to the point that a user could interact with hundreds of people day in and day out for a year for less than a cup of coffee. Let's have a look at some common Bison Relay Lightning Network fees and transaction types. Let's start by going to the LN Management tab. We get the Overview section, which displays three balances. This account started with 0.6 DCR. This balance is split in the following ways. Max receivable, max sendable, on-chain balance. If we want a breakdown of our activities and fees, we can head over to the Payment Stats tab and click on Any User. At the bottom, this will display all the fees associated with interacting with that person. The first one here is Tips. This is when you receive a tip from someone. This can be for any number of reasons, including liking a post or donating to a fundraiser. With the Lightning Network, it's possible to tip someone a single atom and the cost of tipping, no matter how much you tip, is also one atom. A high priority focus for Bison Relay over the coming months is quality of life improvements and making the product ready for general use. At the current time, there is a user base of around 50 to 70 people. A large portion of these users are already testing and reporting bugs and issues. If you're interested in reporting, the page to visit is GitHub Company Zero Bison Relay Issues. Before reporting, you should read through the current issues to make sure the one you're experiencing is not already there. If it is, you can add a comment to acknowledge that you are also experiencing the problem and give further details. At this time, there are 37 issues being worked on and many more that have already been fixed or resolved. Protocol improvements. Behind the scenes, there's been a lot of work done to improve the load times and efficiency of Lightning Network channels. This is now noticeable when you open Bison Relay and within a few seconds, messages and posts are delivered and ready to read. Before these updates, at times, there was delays that would make you feel that there's been no activity since you last visited. From a user perspective, this improvement helps with engagement, especially for those that switch on for short periods of time to check for updates or their regular dose of crypto news. And now let's take a look at the recent Politea proposals. The timestamp the proposal goal is to produce and maintain a web application which provides an easy and free timestamping service using DCR time as the backend. This is an improved version of timestamp.decred.org with the redesign already up on testnet having been completed over the past three months. The DCR timestamping service was most notably used in the recent Brazilian election where the new president Lula timestamped his government plans on the Decred blockchain. This work includes a new design, New pages, easier and more interactive timestamp proofs and hashes, multiple languages, and confirmation progress, among other improvements. A total budget of $17,300 payable in DCR has been requested. The Decred Content and Asset Translations Proposal 2023 is a continuation of the Phase 3 proposal from 2022 from COSAL. The principal goal is to continue to translate Decred content, ranging from the Decred Journal, Decred website, 
Decred software, Decred videos, and other important pieces of information into various foreign languages like Spanish, Chinese, Arabic, Polish, and Portuguese in order to spread Decred content to a foreign audience. This proposal is different from the previous in that it hopes to open up translating content to more temporary contractors, adopting a style similar to Decred Magazine, where anyone can come in and contribute, of course coordinating with the proposal owner before work is done. This effectively opens up and makes the proposal more inclusive to the larger DCR community and for the possibility for more translations into different languages. A total budget of $33,000 payable in DCR is requested for the year. The Alpha Day grant application seeks $2,400 payable in Decred to create an Alpha Day dashboard for the Decred community that displays various widgets geared for developers, crypto enthusiasts, and other projects. The dashboard will act as a one-stop shop for all Decred-related news and other points of interest like podcasts, markets, a calendar, and more. The Rick Red Revival Research and Assorted Other Tasks is a personal proposal from longtime Decred contractor Richard Red. It seeks $32,500 US dollars payable in Decred to perform work relating to research, politea moderation, software testing, quality assurance, continuing the clay stakey clay animation series, creating bison meme content, and other tasks like proofreading, composing tweets, and other things helpful to the Decred project like the Pie Crumbs account on Twitter. The bulk of the funds requested, a max sum of $20,000, will be specifically towards continuing his research work published on Block Commons. The sponsorship in motorsports proposal from Laurent requests $26,000 payable in Decred to sponsor the assembly of a Honda Civic Type R race car in order for it to be driven in various iconic racing circuits, specifically five different races. In exchange for the sponsorship, the car will be decorated in the colors and logos of the Decred brand. Laurent says these race events are highly anticipated and attract tens of thousands of spectators, providing an opportunity for the Decred brand to gain visibility and exposure. 40% of the budget is requested to be paid up front, immediately should the proposal pass, with the rest of the payments coming in at later times. The DCR DEX integration on Umbro proposal passed with 83% yes votes and a 47% voter turnout. The goal, as indicated in the title, is to bring the DCR DEX software to the popular Umbrel self-hosting open source software platform. The Decred Video Content 2023 proposal passed with 83% yes votes and a 55% voter turnout, funding the continuation of Decred-related video content for 2023. And finally, the Decred Arabia Communications and Content 2023 proposal passed with 75% yes votes and a 49% voter turnout. The goal, of course, is to continue creating content and holding events in Arabic. Anyone interested in utilizing Decred's proposal platform to perform work for the Decred DAO should do so by visiting proposals.decred.org and chat.decred.org to discuss potential proposals. Thanks for tuning in. Check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.